The Bank of Canada dropped the overnight rate by 0.25% for the third time in a row, as many people were predicting. The overnight rate now sits at 4.25%, which is a full 0.75% lower than it was this time last year when it hit a high of 5% to help ease inflation. Now that that inflation rate has been consistently within the Bank of Canada's target range of 2-3%, it felt comfortable and confident enough to start easing some of those restrictive policies. In this video, we'll take a look at what this means overall and what impact it could have on homeowners and the housing market. I'm Tyrell Boak, a realtor in Kelowna, and on this channel I help you navigate the real estate market and provide you with useful information so you can make informed decisions that make sense for you. If you get any kind of value out of this type of content, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons so you don't miss out on future videos and so that other people like you can see this video too. It was pretty much a given that the Bank of Canada was going to reduce the overnight lending rate with this announcement after inflation fell to 2.5% in July, which is the lowest it's been since 2021. But there was some debate whether or not the Bank of Canada was going to reduce the rate by 25 basis points or by 50 basis points. Ultimately, the BOC decided to take a slow and steady approach and reduce the rate by 0.25% for the third consecutive announcement. They have signaled, though, that interest rates will continue to decline as long as inflation stays within the bank's target window of 2-3%. They don't want inflation to dip too low, but they're also concerned that if they cut rates too quickly that that inflation rate will start to rise again. With the economy showing some signs of softening and being a little weaker than the BOC would like, we should see some more rate reductions as we close out this year. But what do these rate reductions mean for you as a homeowner? Well, if you're on a fixed rate mortgage, your payments and your interest rate aren't going to change. But if you're on a variable rate mortgage, your interest rate is going to come down along with your overall interest costs. If you're on an adjustable variable rate mortgage, this means that not only will your interest rate come down, but your payments are going to come down slightly as well. And if you have a line of credit or a home equity line, watch for your interest rate to decline there as well. Overall, you should see about a $14 reduction per month for every $100,000 that you have borrowed. And what if you're looking to get into the real estate market for the first time or you're just someone who's looking to buy your next home? Well, as interest rates fall, your buying power increases and that means that the amount that you can qualify is higher. So is now a good time to buy real estate? In my local market, inventory is higher than it's been since 2011, meaning as a buyer you have a lot of choices. We're also in a buyer's market, which means that there's going to be room to negotiate. On top of that, home prices are down 10% from what they were last year, so you're going to pay less for that same home, and interest rates are lower than they were a year ago, meaning your payments are going to be less on that home as well. It's not the best time for everyone to buy a home, but there are a lot of opportunities in the market for people that want to buy, and you're in a better position today to buy than you were 12 months ago. As I mentioned in my last video, one opportunity available to you might be to ride out a variable rate mortgage as rates decline and buy at today's lower prices. You'll have the security of knowing what your top payment is and that payments will come down as variable rates come down and you could have an opportunity to lock in in the future and you know that you're buying at today's lower prices before more buyers come into the market and prices start to go up again. These announcements will eventually generate positivity in the housing market, if they haven't already, and more and more buyers are going to come back into the market as rates decline, and many people feel that this will be the end of price declines and may eventually lead to prices starting to appreciate again. If you have any more questions about whether or not this is the right time for you to buy, or you're ready to start your home buying journey, hit the first link in the description to book a call with me at a time that works best for you. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.